on Cambodia uh, talked about the increasing restriction of the democratic space by oppressive laws. Last year that the United States State Department uh, painted a bleak picture of human rights. And in April this year, the European Parliament talked of the harassment, the growing harassment and intimidation of ordinary citizens going about their daily lives. And so I believe that our government, the Australian government, as one of the principal architects of this, of the peace accords, must continue to speak up and do more as much as we can to improve the situation in Cambodia. And like Hong and others, I share the community's concerns about this current government, the Liberal government's disgraceful refugee deal with Cambodia. Um, and the final two points I would make in saying that is that it is unacceptable that Australia's current Attorney General, when questioned on that deal, said that these events were many years ago in Cambodia in the 1970s and that Cambodia is now trying to establish itself as a well-governed nation because this is just not the case.